I've just lost about $18,000 per year in my reselling career. Just like that, gone. Let me explain why. So waking up bright and early this morning, I woke up to a fantastic email from Poshmark, basically saying in five days time, they're shutting down in Australia and the UK and India, I believe. It's a bit of a kick in the guts. There are a lot of people out there that have built their whole business on the backbone of eBay. There's people out there with thousands of listings. Me, myself, I have about 1,100 listings on there, I think. And I use it to substitute for my eBay business. I use it to put extra stuff out there, get more eyes. And that equated to around about, on average, about $1,500. Now. I'm one of the lucky ones. I didn't rely on Poshmark to make my income. As you know, I'm a full-time reseller. I need this money to survive, basically. Uh, and I will be okay without Poshmark. But $1,500, if you've lived in this world for longer than two minutes, you'll know that, especially in this economy, that's a hell of a lot of money. Now, I'm not making this video to be a bit of a Debbie Downer or to complain because I'm actually not that worried. And I want to sort of make it to sort of give you guys a bit of a positive outlook to it, if there is one, I guess. Uh, for those of you that have built your entire business on Poshmark, I'm very sorry. Um, I wish there was something I could do to help. And if there is, reach out to me. You know, I'm more than happy to give advice. As you know, I sell on eBay, I've sold on Depop. And uh, yeah, I've sold on a lot of platforms and I'm really wanting to help as many people as I can through this tough time. Because I know there are a lot of people that have sold on Poshmark. For me, it's been a fantastic platform. But it had its downsides. You know, you've got to share, you've got delayed payments, you've got to use Sendle if you're in Australia, which is just atrocious. Nobody ever wants to use Sendle. But I think the important thing is, is that as resellers, we do have these challenges almost on a daily basis. Not these challenges as big as this one, of course, but there are different challenges, whether it's bad buyers, returns, not being able to source the right inventory, not being able to have enough stuff to list, having too much stuff to list. There's just so many challenges and we need to break this one down and just look at it from the standpoint that it's just another one of those challenges. So I wanted to make this video just to outlay exactly what I'm doing to fix this situation. And for me, I'm lucky enough that I've found a good cross software. Um, um, and I'm more than happy if you guys reach out, whatever, I'm more than happy to tell you guys what that is. Actually, I'll just tell you now, it's Crosslist Magic. I use that all the time for Poshmark, but it also works with Depop, other platforms, depending where you live in the world. So, you know, I'm not affiliated, nothing like that, but they're free. Actually, no, they're not free. They're $10 a month, but they're really good. So that's definitely another option if you're looking to, to go to another platform. If you're on Poshmark only, you're probably gonna to wanna to go to another platform because they've given you no notice. So definitely get onto something like a cross-leasing software and it'll import everything so you don't have to do it all manually because that would be a nightmare, especially after you've taken all your photos. But anyway, for me, what I'm doing, I'm planning on heading back over to Depop. I did sell on Depop a while ago and it did go okay. The reason I ended up closing my Depop store or removing all my items from there is it didn't go as well as Posh. For me, I'm mainly, you know, a lot of your basic, everyday, men's modern, women's modern clothing, sports clothing, all that kind of thing. And that sort of thing is catered a lot more to Poshmark than Depop. But with the closure of Poshmark, that might be about to change. It's gonna be a lot more people going over to Depop, not just as sellers, but also going over as buyers too. Cause you know, it's not just the sellers that are impacted, it's the people that buy on Poshmark too. So for me, over the next few days, I'm gonna work on cross posting all of my items back over to Depop and hopefully be able to see some sales start coming through there pretty quickly. Like I said, I was lucky I wasn't relying on Poshmark and that $1,500, I'm going to be okay without it, but I definitely want that money back uh, <laughs> for a variety of reasons. It's a lot of money. So what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going back to Depop and the way I see it, eBay is my main platform. I sell on eBay every day. That's, that's what I've built my business on. That's what I've built my YouTube channel on. If eBay was going slow and it just wasn't a good day over there, Poshmark usually came through and I'd get a few good sales on there as well. But now I'm gonna have to hope that Depop's gonna be that other <laughs> that other option. But like I said, I'll be fine and I hope a lot of you guys will be too. Actually, no, I know a lot of you guys will too. That's one thing about being a reseller is resellers are really strong. And that's another reason I made this video is just to say, you're strong, you can do anything, you know? A platform that was flawed and had a lot of ups and downs, that doesn't define you and who you are, so you're gonna be just fine without them. Um, you're gonna be fine. There's other platforms out there. If you're not on eBay, you get on eBay. But you know, there's, there's Facebook, there's Poshmark, there's not Poshmark. 
Ah, I'm such in the habit of saying that. There's Depop, you know, there's, that's about it really in Australia. <laughs> But there's other options out there for you and you're not just gonna crumble and completely fail because Poshmark's failed. So think of it as a positive thing. It's an opportunity to try something new. You can double down on eBay. You can try a new platform like I am with Depop. There's so many other options. There's so many buyers out there for your different things. So definitely look into your options, see what you can do. But for me, like I said, I'm going over, I'm pivoting. That's what you've got to do in this business. You've got to pivot. So. I mainly sell on eBay, that's not gonna change. And I'm hoping, touch wood, that eBay's not going anywhere soon. And if it does, then this might be a different conversation. But I'm pivoting, moving over to Depop, and hopefully gonna have some success over there. Personally, I don't like Depop, but we gotta do the things that we have to do. And I know a lot of people do enjoy Depop. I use it as sourcing, because there's a lot of things there that don't sell as well on there, and I can uh, buy it and sell it on eBay, but that might be about to change if we get flooded over there. So I'm trying to be first in, um, but I don't think it's really gonna matter because people are gonna go shop in other places. And of course, this is a great opportunity for me to tell you guys that I'm going to be able to share this journey with you. I'm a relatively big Poshmark seller. I've got a lot of listings over there. So if you've got any issues with this transition, any questions about how I'm doing any of this, definitely let me know in the comments or message me on Instagram. The link's down in the description. I wanna help you. That's the whole reason this channel exists is I wanna help people. And yeah, it's a tough time, but we're gonna be okay. We can get through this together. And like I said, I'm here to support you no matter what. So whatever the case is, if it's your only platform, if it's a side platform, if you don't care about Poshmark at all, you know, you're gonna be fine. And I have complete faith that you're gonna be okay. But in other news, uh, before I end this video, I just wanted to say for those of you that are still here, which is probably not many of you, I'm gonna start doing a live stream. It's probably gonna be on a weekly basis, but it's gonna be just a live stream that we can have a chat. I might be packing some orders. I might be doing some listings. Probably going to be cross-posting for the next God knows how many days. But there's going to be a big chance for you guys to be able to come in. We'll have a chat. You can come on screen with me. We can have a chat there. You can just type in the comments and, you know, we'll have a good old time. It'll be probably about an hour long. And it's probably going to be, most likely, 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. So, if that time slot doesn't suit you definitely let me know. It's not set in stone, but that is what the first live stream will be at anyway. So I hope that you guys will be okay and I hope to see you guys over there. But like I said, I'm here to support you. Bit of rambling. It's a pretty, pretty basic, pretty raw video, but I just needed to tell you guys that what I'm going to do in this situation, because I hope that it can help a lot of people out there. So if you've got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. If you've got any worries, let me know and I'll do what I can to help. But until then, let's pivot. Let's keep going, keep pushing on, and we're going to make this thing work, okay? I promise you. I'll catch you guys in the next video.